So first of all, where does Pan go from here, Jeremy? Well, I think it really ultimately, of course, depends on the resolution of this particular process. So in the, in the short term, I think we can expect volatility to remain relatively elevated. Clearly, as we go into this weekend, for example, just looking at those newspaper headlines, Theresa May has actually managed to unify the Conservative Party. Unfortunately, it's in opposition to her plans. So in a sense, that's going to lead the weekend press to speculate about the future of her leadership yet again. And now, of course, we've been here many times, but for an international investor looking at the UK from an outside perspective, you know, is there conviction that it's going to be a scenario where there is going to be inherent political risk and accordingly that's probably going to keep sterling a little bit on the defensive in the short term mm -hmm. but our baseline assumption our baseline conviction although it's not a necessarily a deep deep conviction is the one that we will get a positive resolution or at least the least worst alternative we do not get the hard brexit deal that some fear and i think that will allow sterling to recover i think the shorts that are still fairly sizable will start to be corrected and in fact i think you know in the middle part of next year we should be looking at sterling against the dollar in the 140s rather than the 130s. Uh, what happens if the UK actually crashes out inadvertently? Well, if the UK crashes out inadvertently, then you have to start dusting off the, you know, the, the pieces that we were writing prior to the referendum in 2016. Now, at that time, we talked about uh, sterling crashing by 20% on an exit vote. Now, it pretty much did that. Now, the question is, would we, would we recreating that sort of methodology, would it be the same sort of magnitude? I think probably not, but I think we could easily see you know, a, a sort of a 10 to 15 big figure fall in the valuation of sterling against the dollar under that sort of crash out scenario, because ultimately, you know, the UK would need to reprice itself and repricing itself via the currency would be uh, the obvious way to do that.